Memoirs, a 20th century journey in science and politics by Edward Teller with Judith, Judith Schulery. Edward Teller being a scientist, Hungarian born, and uh, didn't come to the United States until 35. Let's see, he was probably, uh, he was born in 1908. Uh, I don't know how great a writer he is, so it's, you know, when we get famous scientists and they write books, sometimes they get people to help them out. Doesn't surprise me. So this is his memoirs. Uh, Edward Teller was massively important in developing the hydrogen bomb, a hydrogen weapon. And, uh, and these, are, uh, these are his memoirs. I haven't read them. Very excited about them. Edward Teller, Judas Schulery. Memoirs, this is the spine. Perseus Publishing. It looks like it's quarter bound in cloth with paper sides. It's a fairly typical hardbound book. And it is big, 630 pages or so. The writing is not massive. It's perfectly readable. It's nice, but it's not, it's not, it's not big, fat, juicy writing. A uh, bunch of images. You can see there are two sets, three sets maybe of images, maybe two. So this is Edward Teller. You might not recognize most of the other people there, but you'll recognize JFK. So, this is Werner Heisenberg, this being Werner Heisenberg. Hopefully that's not Schrodinger's cat. Ha 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 ha. All right, he, um, he was an outspoken guy. He didn't just put his head down and work on science. We're going to hear in this book, apparently, his thoughts on the bombing of Japan uh, and, and many other things aside. But since I haven't read it, I can't really spend that much time talking about the Amazing things that he says. All right. We'll leave it here. I just want to say I suddenly recognize some people. Robert Oppenheimer, obviously another huge uh, nuclear physicist. And Enrico Fermi. I don't recognize the third person, Ernest Lawrence. I'm not sure who Ernest Lawrence is. Maybe I should know. All right. That's Memoirs by Edward Teller.